All right, this will be the last question that I will be solving on how to find the projections, the true length, and the inclinations of a line to the horizontal and vertical planes. Now, the question says that a line AB is given by its top and front views as shown as shown determine question a the true length of a b question b the horizontal and vertical traces of a b and question c the inclinations with vertical plane and horizontal plane inclinations with vertical plane and horizontal plane this is supposed to be hp all right so that is it all right so this is diagram that the question is referring to. This is the top view and this is the front view. So we have the top view in the horizontal plane here. This is horizontal plane. So the top view is here in the, in the horizontal plane and the front view is here in the vertical plane. So this is the front view. So A prime, B prime and the top view is A, B. So we are to determine the true length of line AB first. That is the first question that we are asked to answer. So, how can we get the, the true length of line AB? So, the first thing that we need to do here is to draw the locust line at this point B here. So, draw the locust line. And here also, we also draw the locust line. So, the locust line is so this is M, M prime, and this is N, N prime. So this is the locus, these are the locus lines. So the next thing that we need to do is that, take your compass to get the true length on the horizontal plane, put the compass at this point, A prime, here. And extend it to B prime. Extend to B prime and draw an arc. So that goes like this. So wherever the arc touch on this horizontal line, so call it point B1. So this is B1. Then from B1, draw a vertical line from here. So draw a vertical line. So the vertical line meets the locust line. It meets the locust line M M prime at this point. So this point, we are going to call this point, we are call, going to call it B, B2. So we call it B2. Then, so we come back to the rest of it later. Then we are going to draw the top, uh, the, the true length of line AB here on the vertical plane 2. So we need to put our compass at this point, put at this point A here and extend to point B here, then draw an arc. So the arc meet this horizontal line at this point, it meet this horizontal line at this point here. So call this point, call it B, so B1 prime. So this is point B1 prime. So then draw a vertical line. So draw a vertical line from here. Draw a vertical line from here. So the vertical line goes from B1. So it goes up like this. And it meets the locust line at this point. So this point, we call it B2 prime. So this is B2 prime. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to draw the true length of line AB in the vertical in the horizontal plane so you join a b2 together with a straight line to get the true length of line a b on the horizontal plane here is it okay so to get the true length of line a b in the vertical plane join a prime b2 prime together a prime b2 prime join them together with a straight line there is it
Okay. Now we have answered that question. So this is the true length. This is the true length. So, um, so this is the true length here. So in case you are asked to measure the true length of the line, so you can take the measurement, they will be equal, they must be equal. So by this construction, so we have this to be, this is 60, this is 61 millimeters. This is 61 millimeters. So here is 61 millimeters. And also, so here, this should also be equal to 61 millimeters. This is it. It's also equal to 61 millimeters. So this is also 61 millimeters. They must be equal. They must be equal. So 61, 61 millimeters. So the next is that we are asked to draw the horizontal trace and vertical trace. To draw the horizontal trace and vertical trace, what you need to do is that from So from this point to draw the horizontal trace. So from this point, on this line, on this front view, for the horizontal trace, you extend this line. So the line comes like this. So meeting the x y line at this point, it meets the x y line at this point. So by the time you extend this line, so we also need to extend this line. Sorry. So draw a vertical line from here. Draw a vertical line from here. So the vertical line comes down like this a little bit. Okay. So it comes down here a little bit. So this is point H. So that's point H. Then the next thing that I need to do is to extend this line. So by the time, by the time you extend this line, this top view, extend it. So by the time you extend it, it comes like this. So for this, it meets for this one. So this is the point of intersection of this line, the vertical line, and the extension of this top view. So they intersect at this point. Okay? They intersect at this point. So this point, where they intersect here, this point where they intersect, so this is horizontal trace. Where they intersect here, this is horizontal trace. So here we have the horizontal trace here. Now to draw the vertical trace, to draw the vertical trace, so we need to extend this line, which is the top view, extend it. We have already extended it, and it meets the xy line at this point it intersect the xy line at this point so from this point i will call this point this point we call it point v then from this point we are going to draw a vertical line down so draw a vertical line down here like this then we need to extend the front view of the line so we extend it so by extending it from here comes down like this so this point of intersection is of this vertical line that comes down from v and the extension of the front view of the line a b this point is the point of intersection and this is the vertical trace this is the vertical trace so we have answered question b so we have gotten the horizontal trace and vertical trace of the line. So the next thing that we need to get is the question says we should determine the inclinations with vertical plane and horizontal plane. Inclinations with vertical plane is taken on the horizontal plane. So I need to get this angle. So I will put my compass here. So the angle that the true length makes with this horizontal line makes with this horizontal line is the inclination of line AB with vertical plane so so i'll make an arc here and also the inclination the angle of inclination of this true length to this horizontal line is the inclination of line a b with the horizontal plane so i need to 
made this angle. So if this angle is if this angle is theta and this angle is theta one, why this is theta two? So we need to measure the angles. So we are taking the measurement of the angles. So looking at this, so this angle here, this angle is 40 degree. This angle theta one is 40 degree. So theta one is the angle of inclination of line AB with horizontal plane. Then this is 40 degree. So this angle here, this is equal to 40 degree. So this is equal to 40 degree. Then this angle, which is the angle of inclination of line AB with vertical plane, that is theta 2. So this angle here, looking at what I have here, so this angle gives me, so this is 22 and a half. That is 22.5. This angle is 22.5. So this angle theta 2 which is the angle of inclination of line AB with bad coupling is 22.5 degree. 22.5 degree is the angle of inclination of line AB with the vertical plane. So we have answered the three questions. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed so that you can learn more. So that you can learn more. I'm going to do much, much, much work. So you need to subscribe. If you subscribe, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video and share this video with friends who are technical drawing or engineering students and like the channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. God bless you.